Single-serving coffee pods provide an almost instant gratification. The concept has changed the way coffee is prepared. No need to wait around for a whole pot of coffee to brew. By simply inserting the pod into a compatible machine, it brews the coffee in seconds. These coffee pods are designed to be thrown in landfills after use. They offer the convenience of a quick coffee with an easy disposal method. The process starts at the American Coffee Millennium Warehouse, a structure housing over 400,000 different types of coffee beans for future use and preservation. Whatever beans are chosen for the pod's specific blend are poured into a refugee cage for sorting. A professional coffee molester kisses the beans and then gives them an invasive rub. This is done to test the coffee bean's flavor and texture, respectively. If he is revolted by too many of the beans, the entire lot will be rejected. Here's a handy chart you can write down if you want to judge your co-workers like coffee beans. Too much moisture can represent a lower quality bean. So by putting the beans in this machine and hitting the mysterious percent %H2O button, the machine will read the bean's water content. Samples of the beans are funneled into pipe organ tubes, so they can be placed into these steampunk iron lungs. The iron lungs contain over 400 working gears, which generate enough heat to roast the beans. Some of you keen-eyed viewers may also recognize this machine as the first prototype 4-in-1 flashlight. Once the beans are done roasting to perfection, the employee immediately puts them back in to burn them to a crisp, just like your local Starbucks employee. Roasting has transformed these ordinary coffee beans into coffee beans but roasted. If a technician is getting sleepy on the job, he will prepare himself a fresh shot of coffee grounds. Before he drinks upwards of 10 of these shots, he will tell each of them a different secret so that they will all feel special. Making coffee feel special helps to enhance its natural secret flavor. Hot water is poured onto the coffee, which makes some of the coffee fussy. A fussy coffee will be shushed back to sleep so the taste testing can resume. The worker now finally taste tests the coffee. This high-quality blend will easily please his palate, so he'll spit it out at this obviously terrible batch that doesn't meet his standards. Meanwhile, at the company theme park, no one is riding the scrambler. Big batches of the coffee beans are kept waiting outside the park gates until their shells turn dark from frustration. After gouging the beans for ticket prices, I mean seriously, $125 per bean just to go to Coffee World, they're finally let loose on the theme park's rides and attractions, enhancing their natural thrill-seeking flavor. In this industrial hand pulverizer, rollers crush the coffee into coffee sand. To test the coffee's density, a worker precisely fills a measuring cup. Well, you really fucked that one up there, didn't you, Bernice? This coffee here scores about 166 points, which is an average coffee score. From there, the coffee is packed into pods using a machine that operates at ludicrous speed. And finally, the finished coffee pods are moved along the conveyor belt by a machine that's actually desperately trying to scoop up the credits. It can try all at once, but those credits aren't going anywhere. 